Tablets have been the preferred tool for AIM for many OSU players for a long time. They provide significant advantages over the mouse, like increased AIM, accuracy, speed, and overall a much softer feeling for the game. On my quest for performance in this game, I've come to ask one fundamental question. Can they be improved? And that brings me to my discovery. While using a tablet, you are not aiming with the tip of your pen, but rather with the sensor suspended in the air, away from the tablet area itself. And that is very different. Let's take a look at a diagram so I can explain it a bit better. Alright, so as you can see in here, the diagram represents a pen. Uh, here's the outer layer. The green part is the circuit board inside the pen. Uh, there are two buttons. Uh, here is the copper coil, the actual sensor of the pen, the very important part. And here is the tip of the pen, the pen nib. And the blue line represents the direction in which the pen is aiming. Let's take a look at what would happen if you were using your pen in this configuration. So if you keep your pen perpendicular to the tablet area, which is right here, then your eye will be very flat and moving the pen to the side will point it directly straight down. However, as you already know with your experience, the, your eye might be flat in the middle area. However, the further away you get from the middle point, so let's say this is the net neutral point, the further away you point, the more you begin to tilt the pen. And this essentially creates an offset in the direction the pen is pointing and adds some acceleration at the edges of your active area. So in the middle, your arm is very flat and consistent, but on the edges, it gets faster and inconsistent. So what can be done about it? Let's take a look at this uh, situation. Right now, the pen is uh, aiming at this uh, blue dot right here. I'll tilt it 30 degrees, let's say. And right now, it's aiming at this black dot right here. So, if I brought the pen down without changing the tilt, I would actually get and I'm much closer to the green uh, dot, not the black one. So it would be less offset from the neutral point which we started at. If I brought it, brought it even closer, then the deviation from the tilt or the effect of the tilt on my pay I, pay, pen I'm would be even less. So let's move the point here, the pivot point. And using the pen like this, if I tilt my pen, let's say 45 degree angle, it will, I'm a little bit over the green dot. However, if I bring the pen closer, or to be exact, the tip of the coil, which is the actual sensor closer to the tablet, then by tilting the pen at 40, 45 degrees, I'm getting basically no deviation in my aim. So even though I'm tilting the pen, the pointer, the position of the cursor basically doesn't change. And that gives me a much flatter and much more consistent response. So how can this be achieved? Well, to explain that, let's take a look at how the pen actually looks in general. You already know the base diagram which I drew, but let's take a look at an actual picture and see how it looks. So let's take a look at a frame from a video presenting the disassembly of the CTL 471 pen, which is the bamboo. Uh, and this pen has got exactly the same insights as the 471. So here we have the pen nib, the tip of the pen. Here is the coil. This is a pressure sensor, uh, two buttons and the circuit board. And as you can see, this is the actual case of the pen. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of dead space in here. Uh, that's around five millimeters, which is separating the very tip of the pen nib from the beginning of the coil. 
So what I ended up doing is I took my pen and just filed it down all the way till here. So let me show you how it looks right now. And that allowed me to achieve exactly what I was uh, going for. So in my pen right now, the coil is almost touching the tablet area itself. And so let's uh, make a test and see if all of the stuff I've been just talking about is just theory or if it's got any practical application. So to conduct those tests, I'm gonna be using the two pen nibs. Uh, one is the pen nib which I am currently using and the other one is a stock pen nib uh, with the stock length uh, never used before. And as you can see, the difference in length between them uh, is around five uh, millimeters or so. So quite a bit of difference. So in the test, I will put both of those pen nibs in the pen and I will try to tilt it uh, sideways without uh, moving the tip on the surface of the tablet. And let's see which one will have the more, more of this uh, deviation. So let's start with the stock pen nib, the longer one. As you can see, it's sticking out outside the pen quite a bit. All right, so let's see. All right, so I've got the longer pen nib in. Now I'll put the pen down and try to tilt it sideways without moving the pen nib the tip of the pen nib on the tablet itself. I'll tilt it around 45 degrees if possible. It's actually kind of hard in this configuration, but as you can see, the pointer is moving quite a bit with me tilting the pen. All right, so that is the original pen nib. And now let's put in the second, which is the shortened pen nib, the one I'm using currently. As you can see, not sticking out nearly as much. And let's see. All right, so pen nib inside the pen, shorter one. And let's take a look at the deviation. <laughs> I'll try to, you know, not tilt it if possible not move the pen on the tablet surface. It's really hard <laughs> in the setup I have right now with the camera. But as you can see, it is barely moving at all. So All right, so the tests are done. And as you can see, it makes a lot of difference uh, for me personally. Whenever I did this tweak, I it in instantly decreased my area. So I started to wanting to increase it in the software. And right now I play on a much bigger area than before because of that. And yeah, and it's great, honestly. The Your eye feels much flatter. Like it kind of feels like you're putting your hand inside the tablet more which is a really good thing. It feels it feels different, it feels flat. Flat is a really good word for it. It feels different. Uh, I started gripping my pen even lower because of that. And it really feels I'm dragging. And you know, it feels really, really like I'm just, I just have this tip inside the tablet. And like the tip of my fingers is also inside the tablet. That's kind of the feeling it gives me. Uh, it's a great tip. It's a great fix. Um, yeah, and it was massive for me uh, in improving my aim. So yeah, you might want to check it out also. And like I said in the video, the I think I did mention this before, that the part of the pen on which the coil rests is metal. So once you start filing down your pen, uh, you can't really overdo it too much 
because uh, you you know the metal coil will just stop you and so yeah if you want to mess with this then you know try it out and see so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments i think this is absolutely massive and i didn't see it mentioned anywhere so maybe it's a breakthrough maybe it's a beginning of some shift of uh, how people play we all file our pens down who knows check it out try it out let me know what you think thank you so much for watching subscribe see you in the next video bye bye